you're doing work that's worth more than you're being paid, you should go and lobby your employer to compensate you adequately for what you're doing. Live your faith, build your business, and change your world. This is Live, Build, Change. Hey, I hope you're doing well today. Carrie Green with LiveBuildChange.com. I am here to help you live your faith in an authentic, meaningful way, build a business, and integrate those two to change your world. Now, in the last episode, episode 10 of Live, Build, Change, which you can find at LiveBuildChange.com slash 10, I mentioned an idea that I wanted to talk about more in depth on this episode, and that's the idea of exchanging time for money. Now, most of us don't think of a regular kind of a job like most of us have or have had at some point in our lives as exchanging time for money. But if you think about it, that's really what you're doing. I mean, we even talk about it as being paid hourly or being paid monthly if you're on a salary. We attach time frames to the way we talk about the compensation that we receive. And what you're really doing is you're saying to your employer, I will give you this much time, say it's 40 hours per week, if you will give me this much money, and they usually dictate how much money that is. Just for sake of the illustration, let's say it's $20 per hour. So you're willing to give 40 hours of your time every week for $800. For that particular week. I mean, that's 40 times 20 is 800, right? Now, that is totally fine. We've all probably done that at some point in our lives. We all maybe are continuing to do that. That's how our economy has traditionally been set up. But let me talk you through some of the limitations of that kind of a setup. Okay, first of all, your income is limited according to the amount of time you can give to the job. I mean, sure, you can work 50 hours a week or 60 or 80 or 100, but you're going to run into problems logistically, not only from a, from a health and physical strength standpoint, but also just from a standpoint of coordinating your schedule and those kinds of things. I mean, that's one way you can increase your income in that kind of a scenario, but you're also going to have to have your employers buy in for that. And then overtime wage kicks in and all that. So your employer is going to have reasons not to let you work that much. And so you see you're limited in how much you can make. Now there's always the, the possibility of getting a raise and, you know, many people will go into their boss after a certain amount of time and ask for a raise and lobby for it and make their case. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. That's wonderful. If you're doing work that's worth more than you're being paid, you should go and lobby your employer to compensate you adequately for what you're doing. But here's the thing. Even with a raise, you're going to run up against those same roadblocks of the amount of time you can invest and the amount of willingness your employer is going to have to let you invest that time to make more money. Now, you may say, well, we get an annual bonus. We get profit sharing. We get income essentially from retirement things where the employer matches dollar for dollar what we put in. Hey, I'm not saying there are not perks to a nine to five job. I'm not saying there are good things about this time for money exchange, but I am saying there are limitations to it. That's my main point. And so what are the other options? Now, there's plenty of you out there who have done a sales job. And a sales job, if you think about it, is not typically a time for money exchange especially if it's a pure commission job. You know, I've known many people who have sold insurance, who have sold cars, who have sold, well, in, in my case, I was doing mortgages for a while. And it's essentially, you're getting a percentage of the sale or a certain commission rate for the work you're doing. And you don't get paid until the actual consummation of the deal, until the sale goes through or the person signs their mortgage or a person purchases a car. Okay, and that's when you get paid. Now, usually you're paid at a, at a bigger rate than you would be on an hourly wage because the products you're selling or the thing you're selling has a higher value to it. 
So you're going to get more money from it. But the thing is about that, it's not a time for money exchange. And so the more work you're willing to put in as a salesperson to hone your craft of sales, to learn how to be more compelling, to learn how to add more value to those people that you're serving, the more income you're going to make. And so in a sales job, your income is not as limited as in a nine to five trade your time for money kind of a deal. You're able to get more money from a sales job because it's dependent on your effort. Now, I am not a sales guy. That's part of the reason I got out of the mortgage industry. Sales is just very difficult for me. It doesn't feel like it fits my personality. So I never have felt, even though I've tried a few times, that sales jobs fit me. It's just, it's just not a good thing for me to try a sales job. And so what are some other options to get out of the trading time for money trap and into a thing where your effort produces your income. And so the more effort you put in, the more income you naturally receive. Well, I'm convinced that online business opportunities are one of those things. Now, there are many models of revenue that you can have. And I've talked about a lot of those back in episode seven. That's at livebillchange.com slash seven. The point is this, you can set up many things online where the amount of value you're giving to your clients or your customers is such that they are willing to pay you a larger dollar amount. There are lots of things online where you can get a decent amount of return on the time you've actually invested because it's not really about your time anymore. It's about the value of what you're providing and the quality with which you're providing and the things you're providing to your customer or client's life that they deem as being valuable. And I've said this before, but that's what the free enterprise system is based on, is the belief that two people can enter into a transaction freely. Nobody's compelled, like in socialism or anything like that. They both enter into a transaction freely with a willingness for one to provide something that is of great enough value to the other, that the other will freely give them the amount of money they're asking for. That's how free enterprise works. And so that's what we're doing online. When we build a business online, we are creating things of value. And please understand that. All these get rich quick things that you see, you know, make this much money a day easy with only an hour's worth of work. I mean, you hear those things and maybe there are ways to do that. But as a believer in Christ, we need to have the integrity to ask ourselves, is that thing I'm doing to get that money of great enough value? that it's actually going to benefit the people on the other end. You see, you could create some kind of a dietary formula that you can espouse as having all these great benefits, but it may have health liabilities. But uh, who cares? I could sell it and get all this money. You've got to care about the person on the other side of the transaction. That's what motivates us as believers in Christ is to add great value to the world. And so I want you to think about that. What is that thing of value that you could provide to the world that you could ask a higher dollar amount for and actually get it because people perceive it as being that valuable. Now, I hope this is making sense to you, but this time for money exchange is not always the best option. There are other things out there that you can do. And if you're curious what those might look like, go back to Live, Build, Change episode seven at livebuildchange.com slash seven, the number seven, and you can listen to that episode. There should be show notes there as well for you to look over and see what the episode's really all about. The point of it all is this. If you want to move ahead financially, you want to establish a greater sense of small s security for your family, you're going to have to learn how to stop exchanging time for money because that is naturally limited in your ability to generate income for your family is going to be limited by it. Now, of course, you could become the CEO of the company. You could get this great salary, all of that. But still, you're going to be limited by your amount of time. There are other ways, other models, which I mentioned back in episode seven, that would provide more opportunity for income than trading your time for money. Just a little food for thought there on this episode of Live, Build, Change. Hey, if you are not subscribed to Live, Build, Change, let me give you two benefits of why you should subscribe and tell you a little bit of what that does for the Live, Build, Change movement. 
Let's start with that second one first. When you subscribe to Live, Build, Change, whether it's in iTunes or Stitcher or whatever, iTunes or Stitcher, those platforms have an algorithm, a math formula built into their process and their software so that when someone subscribes to a show, they take that as a sign that that show is actually producing something of value to the listeners. And as a result, they will bump that show up in their search algorithm so that when someone is searching for Christian entrepreneur, for example, Live, Build, Change will be more likely to show up. And so when you subscribe to Live, Build, Change, you're making it possible for other people to more easily find this show when they go to iTunes and are searching for something to help them as a Christian in business. So that's benefit number one. You are able to make a difference in the lives of other people as they are seeking to live their faith, build their business, and change their world. But also, the thing about subscription is this. You're going to get this sent to you even while you sleep. You don't have to go back and find the episode every time. It's going to come straight to your smartphone, straight to your computer, straight to wherever you tell it to come. And it's going to be there waiting for you so that you can listen conveniently when it's a good time for you. You're also going to get the daily morning mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. It's a five-minute shot in the soul to help you get your mind right to face the day ahead. I do that every single morning here on Live, Build, Change. And it's in this exact same podcast subscription feed. So you'll get those automatically if you sign up for Live, Build, Change. So you can find out more of how to subscribe for Live, Build, Change at livebuildchange.com slash subscribe. I would love to interact with you. My email is Kerry, C-A-R-E-Y, at livebillchange.com. Hey, I want you to go out and be thinking and praying about how you can live your faith today, how you can build a business, and then how you can integrate those two to change the world. I'll see you in the morning, in the Morning Mindset Edition. 